Hi Explorers, welcome back to another Wilderness Wednesday. This time, we're going to be earning our ham radio badges. Come on in, let's go ahead and join Crystal, who's already at Disney's Animal Kingdom. All right, so we're here so, with Heather, um, and she is going to go over our ham radio badge. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm really excited, because okay. I don't even know what a ham radio is. Oh, well, I have a great example right over here. This oh. is a ham radio. These are very powerful radios with a funny name. They are used a lot by people. They can talk, communicate with people all over the world, in fact. Now, researchers in the wild like to use radios like this because they are so powerful. Unfortunately, other people can listen in to the radio calls. Some of these people are not well-meaning. So we use secret code words. Yeah. Ah! So I'm going to teach you one. Ah, okay. I'm excited. So right over here, you want to write code and then the letter Y. So okay. Y, for instance, could stand for young animal. If we were studying a herd of elephants, they had babies in the family group and the herd was headed towards a watering hole, we could say we have three code Ys headed towards water. Enough for us to know what we're talking about, but very poachers cool. don't know what we are. What you're about. talking about. Referring to, right. So that's yeah. very, now do you, there, so there's obviously tons of code. Mm -hmm. um, that Now does it change for every organization or is it just for, it's like a universal. Yes, we use codes here at the park. Keepers oh, use codes. just here. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah, each everywhere. organization mm -hmm. is different. Yeah. That's so different neat. Different keepers have different codes that they use and Part of it is efficiency also, so we don't get different departments mixed up. So I like to ask people what you would be able to do to protect wildlife where you live. Recycle is my number one. Recycling, definitely. Recycle, reuse, just, you know, throw away in the trash receptacles is like a huge thing. Being aware of our packaging and thinking about where it's going to end up after you're finished with it. That's very true. Plastic wrappers, uh, little single-use fruit cups. If It's better to actually get a larger container of fruit and then put it in into a, a, a container, container that you can reuse. Just yep. clean it, yep. of course. Yep. Another thing you can do is if you get those six packs of soda cans or beer cans, those plastic rings, cut those up. We cut them up, and, yes. And so a lot of animals have specific habitats that is their only life source, like hippos. Hippos rely on water completely. That is where they need to stay cool because they are unable to sweat. So it's like everything and to them. Everything. Uh, but there are ecosystems like that everywhere. And a lot of animals rely on other animals. It's a complete circle of dependency. So making sure those habitats stay clean, pay attention to what chemicals we use in our yards that might run off, uh -huh. especially like watching out if it's going to be a rainy week, don't use pesticides because that exactly. stuff is going to go right down right the into the water. Yes. Yeah, so take a little bit, extra few minutes to just consider what's going to happen if I do this. Like, like what's the consequence? Consequence. Exactly. Yeah. Right, I'm well, looking forward to your sticker. Yes, my badge. Your badge. You need a badge. Yes. And I'm really excited to hear yes. these other codes, Well, too. this part, unfortunately, this oh, radio oh. was in the rain a few too many times. Oh. Oh, so it's not making sense right now. But, but what's code? So what is code 600? That is also a part of our Kilimanjaro Safari. We had a different for ride. little red, like code red. Yeah, but but we switched that up because we were talking about poaching because poaching is a very serious issue. Mm -hmm. But when you're dealing with a lot of little ones, they don't understand. Yeah, and so they were one. We had a happy ending, but kids didn't always realize that. Yeah. So yeah. like. Okay, we're just going to change this up. We want to push conservation and awareness, but in a real positive way. Thank you way. so Perfect. much. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. For those at home, we would like to hear about your radio experience. What is the farthest you've listened to or even spoken to on a radio? It could be on an actual ham radio, stereo radio, or even your car radio. How much distance did you cover? Tell us by using the hashtag TPE Wilderness Explore. And we'll see you in the next adventure.